If you saw our previous video with the Sony NS7s and I was really impressed by these wearable full range speakers, you'd be interested to check out the NB10s. Now they are smaller, lighter and almost half the price from the NS7s and they offer basically the same functionality. Let's see what's in the box and let's see if they're any good and worth the 50% discount or actually sound better with respect to the size and the price that we're gonna be paying for them. They are available for 12,990 and we'll have links to them in the description below. If you're interested in checking out our NS7 video, you should click the bubble on the top right or the link in the description below. Let's get started with the unboxing. And these are the NB10s. They have a rated 20 hour of battery life and they can also be quickly charged up in just 10 minutes. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Let's see what else is in the box. It seems pretty bare as far as things inside the box are concerned. We get a warranty certificate and a bunch of addresses for service stations, which is interesting. A basic quick start guide is also in the box and uh, what appears to be a reference guide is also in the box. So it'll help you set up the speakers. Inside the box you also get a standard USB to USB type C cable. Now like I said, you can charge these uh, with 10 minutes of charge for 60 minutes of playback. On a full charge they do offer up 20 hours of playback, which is impressive to say the least. Now right out of the bat, these are really lightweight in comparison to uh, the NS7s and you can see that they're like really tiny in comparison to those. And they feel like uh, regular neckband earphones and are not really a heavier speaker. Uh, but let's quickly power this on and in my past experience I realized that they're really loud usually when you turn them on so I'm not going to wear them around my neck yet. So uh, you do have the power button along with uh, the mute button and the power button also doubles up as the pairing button on the right side along with a USB type C which is going to be for charging uh, the speaker and on the left you do have a main function button along with volume buttons or a play pause button or uh, the button that's going to be used for sending and receiving calls as well in case you want to do that. You can see the mic pickup is on the top over here. The speaker is mostly here. All of this is probably battery and uh, not the speaker. On the back you do have bass vents like the previous version so you do get uh, the air sort of getting pushed out from this at loud volumes I'm assuming because the NS7 did have a really large bass vents in comparison uh, but uh, this should have a decent amount of bass as well. So unlike the NS7s you don't connect these through the headphones connect app which is uh, interesting because uh, they are a completely different style of uh, speaker and they're primarily designed for a sort of professional use but uh, you can buy them and uh, use them for music and that's what I want to test out and see how music sounds on these. Okay, so you're definitely not getting music quality uh, speakers like you were with the NS7. Uh, the NB10, I would say, is more for uh, having sound around your neck. So I feel this will be more suited for things like voice calls or uh, video calls, actually. You can have it here. Um, and uh, that'll be really useful because the speaker is really far away from the mic pickup as well. It'll not interfere. And because they're directional speakers, so they're actually pointing out audio directly towards your ears and uh, they are full range speakers, uh, but it's definitely missing out on that oomph that the NS7 because of the larger size of the speakers and the overall format in the X pattern that they are on the NS7s. If you're looking for something that gives you a lot more audio uh, feedback and gives you like a headphone experience, the NS7 is definitely the speaker for that. The NB10 can be used for more calls, uh, basic music listening, you can have it playing at a low volume around the house, moving around, whatever, and it will not bother you or anyone actually, because the sound is so directed, uh, other people can barely hear it. So it is something that you can use to not disturb others. It can also be something used to watch television, Again, not getting the kind of home theater-like feeling that you were getting with the NS7s, but just listening to the news or watching a show or something like that, 
uh, on a volume that is more comfortable to you and doesn't bother people around you. That is definitely uh, the use case scenario for this. If you want to buy these to listen to music and you're somebody who enjoys a lot of bass, I would definitely not recommend these. Uh, like I said, I would definitely recommend these for more people working from home, uh, people who do a lot of video calls, uh, somebody who's on Skype or Zoom or whatever for long periods of time and they offer 20 hours of battery life as well which can be really handy for that. So definitely go check these out, we'll have links to them in the description below if you're looking for something like this. If you're looking for something which gives you a more uh, fulfilling experience, uh, definitely go check out the NS7s and we'll have links to these in the description below as well. Uh, that's it for this video, if you liked it, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you're not already part of Team IGAN, this has been Bharat. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you in the next one.